canoeing the Ardèche River, a two-day journey with family and friends. Okay, so where are we going, Maya? I've already <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> I can't remember. What was it again? Ardesh Gorge? The Ardesh... <laughs> the Ardesh Gorge. Very it's good. It's like you've been talking about it for the past 50 billion years. Only? Only? Only, yeah. Yeah. Above the road, the grey plaque. Immediately oh, yeah. above the arch. The arch. Um, so the silver grey plaque yeah, above the road. road is where a flood reached in the 19th century. Or something. 19th century, yeah. Yeah. I bet you it was scary and washed away all the bridges. <laughs> it was. The they say that, 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 that the mayor's that. horse and carriage got floated away. Oh, poor horses.
Uh, the river used to go over, around that, around there, and from back out by that beach over there. Where, where does it come back out? Out by that beach over there. Yeah. But after years of it being this cliff, it soon cut um, a hole for it, creating Pont Arc. Pont Arc, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and it is quite special. It's got a lot of holes in it. <laughs> it's like... Ooh, can I go on that rock? Before we leave Pont Arc, it's worth noting that above the dried riverbed and at the foot of the cliffs is the magnificent Grotte de Chauvet. You can't go in it, the, the paintings are fragile. But the French have done a magnificent replica of it, about two kilometres outside of Vallon. I would thoroughly recommend visiting the replica. Very unusually, we have the river to ourselves. I think it's something to do with the forecast for this evening. Torrential rain. This is the run-in to Le Dain Noir, the Black Tooth Rapid, and it's one of the few well, one of the few that I would regard as dangerous. The problem is that the the Black Tooth itself uh, that's not it. Yeah, just under this wave is actually undercut, and in lower water it's easy to broadside it because of the diagonal flow capsize and actually be pushed into the undercut. It's not good.
turn the nose. Okay, so my dad has abandoned us on a rock. Okay, so we've just scrambled up just this tiny rock thing. See what I'm down there? You can't really see it. Alright. So, Mum, should I go first? Hold on to the rocks that on the bar. Oh, I don't. Dad! Just record that. There's a boat! A casual boat! Has there been a worn out bit where people put their foot? Yeah. Look. It's my size foot. Help me! Oh, sorry. What am I meant to help you do? Just hold me for a second while I move my feet. <laughs> Look. Mm. Look, you've always got your helmet. Your boy, it's yeah, You can just get like this. Right, where are we going, Maya? This way. Onward. Forward. Come on, Mixie. Come on. TV thing. TV internet thingy, as my dad calls it. Oh, this one's actually not bad, I don't mind. It's good, isn't it? It's nice for Nice for me. Um, it's good because he's a... Well, it gets a bit diagonal and a bit scarier. The higher you go, <laughs> look, 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 look at my bum. I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> you are good at it, darling. Just get your balance and forget about commentary. Just think what you're doing. Mm. You're doing a good job. Oops. Holding. What is this then? This is the great fig tree. I've never actually tried figs. <laughs> look, they're beautiful, aren't they? They're not yeah. bright yet. But um They're quite oh. pretty, they kind of look like apples yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Upside yeah. down apples. Um <laughs> So the, we think this is the colour of the track we're on, the trail. But we um so yeah, we're not actually sure though. We'll find out after. It kind of looks like a tongue. <laughs> Yeah. The dead branches, what's that say to you? What? How do those dead branches get there? Water. Water, so water kind of thing? Water came way up here. We're the height of the river, darling. Mm. Mm. So that is wacky. I think that's a salad type. So not that's coming out of a fig tree. So, <laughs> where the fig tree's roots have gone into it. Bet you, you wouldn't jump off that. <laughs>
say. It is. Yeah. If you want to go round to the bloody straight off, Lena. Yeah, yeah. You can hear the rain above me. Uh, we didn't film putting the gear up. We just arrived here. I was still in my shirt. Got up to the campsite, uh, Gournier, and as forecast, it started to really come down heavily. We're the only people here. We're the only canoeists on the river. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't come up too much tonight. Um, we'll have to wait for it to drop if it does. But the rain, the main rain is start is stopping midnight, one o'clock, and we we got the tarp up, got the tent up. A brew is on. Uh, can you see it over my shoulder? Yeah, there's a brew going there, and then we we'll, we we'll get sorted, get some tea. It's a strange old spot this because it's a it's called a bivouac quite rightly uh, there are only two places you can stop and camp or bivy in the gorge otherwise the, thing, the, the place would be trashed uh, in a single year uh, even with people being careful just too many people down here and there will be a lot that won't take care so the warden from this site has already gone left us to it and I'll just spin the camera let you have a look round We'll have a look, better look round in the morning. But we've got a tarp up, we've got the tent up. Uh, Lena has commandeered one of the sheds, which is actually for the rubbish, but she's got some of our gear in there. Cause, uh, let's keep stuff dry, okay? It is wet. Brew coming on. Hi folks, I hope you found that interesting and helpful. And what you can do is you can press like, you can subscribe, and comments are always welcome. If you'd like to support the channel, there is a link in the description below for buymeacoffee.com. My own book, Canoeing, is available directly from myself, but there are links in the description below for easy buys in North America or the rest of Europe. Thank you for watching.